So now we're on to the rafters and I have the first rafter laid out. It's a uh, eight foot two by four pressure treated. I measured in 12 inches to get to this line on the front. That makes the back is actually about 11 and three quarters of an inch, but close enough. Then the easiest way to do this people is to, cause if you put this up like this, you'll realize that those lines are crooked. They don't run perpendicular with the board. They're not a 90 degree angle. You'll see it on both sides. They are leaning. If I hold the camera straight. The easiest way to do this though is to lay the, ra the rafter up on top of the building and then use a tri-square to come in and square it up to the board that it's sitting on and then find your lines. So the front of this then has to go down one and three quarter inches because it actually sits up off the front of the board by about a quarter of an inch. So I have to cut up one and three quarter inches on this one and one and a half on this one. Then you just intersect the line. Now the back one's a little bit different. The front edge of it, you still go ahead and mark your lines the same way and get the angle correct. But this back one has to go up two inches on this side and one and a half on this side. So it's a little bit different. And that's because of the, the angle. I'm going to go ahead and cut this first rafter with the jigsaw and then we'll test fit it before I cut the others. Sorry about the angle of this. I know it looks a little crooked, but I am on a hillside and I have to keep the camera relatively level. And there you go. Now what I can do is I can use the other one as a template to make all the other ones. Just got a notice that it's about to start raining this afternoon, so I need to get this roof done. Um, basically, I'm going to turn the camera on and let it roll until either the battery dies or the memory card gets full. I'm going to use this rafter to now lay out all the lines for all of the other rafters. I've actually got on these end pieces where there's a two before at, I've got an area that's going to have to be trimmed off on those two end boards where they're going to be hitting the top of the wall. And if you don't trim that off, then your rafters are not going to be straight or level across the tops. measured that out. We'll go ahead and cut this. It's only on the two end ones that are going to be on top of the header of the wall. Kind of see what I did there.
Everything looks good. Now I need a ladder and a screw gun. Alright, so I basically marked the front board uh, 24 inches on center. And now I'm going to use a ladder and go down through here and screw the rafters into the front board. go so next is trim the side end pieces off and then do the purlins after the purlins are installed we do the galvanized roofing
right, so I forgot to turn the camera on. Anyways, we're now installing the metal. I basically laid a sheet up there. I have a single screw in the bottom edge holding it in place so I can line up the top edge. Once the top edge is lined up, then we'll run the metal down through there. Um, usually when I'm doing a metal roof, I go ahead and lay the metal on and put one screw in the bottom to hold it in place and one on the top. Then once all the metal's on, I go back and screw everything down all the way. So the first sheet is the one that's the most important because all the other ones will line up with that sheet 